even though we bought a property in the country, we want to bring a little bit of the city comfort into it. So we're going to interlock the entire driveway, which is going to be beautiful. There's some detail rings going into it. Out behind the house, we've got a big open area with the fire pit. So we're going to saw it all around that. We're going to put some interlock around that pit as well. We're planting a lot of trees, a lot of flowers. We really want this place to pop. All right, well, let's uh, release the hounds. Because the driveway comes in between the house and the garage and around to the back, we're going to start all landscaping in the back. However, we have to dig everything out and grade it and get everything compacted so as we work our way out, we're not working in a giant mud pit. Everything is solid, and it's not going to sink when we're finished. Out behind the house, we have a bit of a clearing where the kids love to play. And there's a fire pit there, but I'm going to dig that out and put in some armor stone. Landscaping started a couple of weeks ago. We've got sod going down in the back, the trees are going in, we've got the water feature and some of the stone getting prepared. What are you doing now? We're going to finish up the armor stone in the driveway right here. Are you going to finish the armor stone today? We're going to try. We should be pretty close by the end of the day. OK. And we're working on the pathway here, moving some of the excess from the excavation out. OK. And the fire pit's done? Fire pit's done. Amazing. We've got the mulch coming for uh, the playground in the back as well. OK. At least now that the weather's cleared up, I can go back outside and carry on with landscaping. We're using a product called Stabilia. It's like a crusher run mix, kind of gravel and sand. Comes out dry, but it'll pack up. Then it'll harden up, and it'll be a good base for the stone. So they put it in, they flatten it out, and then they tamp everything down. They put some sand on top and place the stones right on there. So it's a really solid base, and we don't need to bring in as much material. On the outside of the house, the boys are making really good progress. They've got the back finished, and they're moving around the side, laying down the Stabilia base. They're packing everything down, and they're following that up with the paving stone. So it's actually really exciting to see some progress happen. We're almost out of the mud. Look at that. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. I remember I was so angry at you because I just didn't want to leave our beautiful home. You still angry? No, definitely not. Tying the new addition in with the old house was a bit of a challenge, especially when it came to the roof. At least I can officially say it's completely watertight. I can't believe a couple of weeks ago this was all mud. This is the spot. We're going to spend a lot of time here. We're going to sit here in front of a fire, watch the water feature. Which I love. The deer are going to wander in for a drink. We are outside. We are outside our new home. We are outside our last home. <sighs> I think the city girl's got a little country in her now. This is not totally country, so I'm very happy. <laughs>